today we have a Mercedes GLK 300 using the 272 engines. The engine doesn't crank nor start and when we change gear it shows nothing on a dashboard. After unplug the negative terminal for 5 minutes and put it back in, gear it displayed and even crank for a short time. However, the engine still cannot start. Now, we're going to diagnose this problem. As you can see, this is a V6 272 engine. And here's its ECU, which is situated on the tumble flap. After Sentry run quick scan, most of the fault is related to CAN bus system. And we will show you how to fix it. Before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the communication wiring schematic of this GLK. As we know, there's a fault in communication of this ECM, which is N3 slash 10. This ECM has two separate CAN, CAN E and CAN C. CAN C is used for fuel pump transmissions and gear shifter, and CAN E is used for diagnosis. For further understanding, our computer is connected with the OBD plug through our C6 diagnostic. With this GLK, we have N10 slash 1, which acts like a gateway of the whole communication system. It gathers information from the ECM through CAN E and transfers the message via CAN D. If there are any faulty message, the check engine light will appear on the instrument panel. This is the wiring diagram of our ECM N3-10. I've already checked the power 15, 30 and 87 of this ECM. All powers are present as well as ground 2. But when we measure CAN E high and low, there was 2.5 voltage which means that the communications doesn't convey any message which obviously means that there's something wrong with this control unit now let's open the ECU to see what's happening inside so as we can see this capacity and its surrounding circuit board is burned out and on the other side of this main board the components dedicated to power management are burned as well this is why this control unit doesn't output any can message. In this circumstance, the only options that we have is to replace the ECU. You can either replace it with a brand new ECU or clone a donor one. So in my case, we're using the KTEC to clone the original program into the new one. This is an offline way or in a dealership, they will do it online by using a genuine dealer account. There's another way to use the Vendiamo on DTS Monaco. These two softwares can support us to do the job, but only for the old models. After replacing the ECM, we're going to check whether the symptoms disappear. So as we can see, our gear positions is showing on the dashboard and the engine start normally. And to recap, this vehicle has a bad ECU with internal faults on the main board and its capacity result in communication message cannot be transferred to relevant units.